Hey guys, it's Peter George from Lost Angler Fly Shop here in Daphne, Alabama. And today we're gonna to be tying one of my new favorite flies that's been just a real killer. It's been a super simple pattern. It's fast, it's easy to tie, and it works extremely well. Today we're gonna to look at the Causeway Killer. Now, full disclosure. Does it work well in the Causeway? Yeah. Does it work well in the marsh? Yeah. Does it work well in numerous colors? Yeah. And essentially the only thing this is is a really simplified version of a redfish red one. So if you want to see the original style pattern, please go check out 239 Flies. Check out their uh, YouTube channel. They do amazing work. If you guys are ever in the area, go check them out. But that being said, I'm going to show you the simplified version. The Causeway Killer. Let's get time. All right guys, so to start this off, I'm gonna start by using uh, Vivas 80 thread. This is in olive green. And you can tie this pattern in any color you want. Uh, so, no worries there. Get that set off, now we're gonna come on in, get ready to add the eyes. We're going to give ourselves some space between the eye of the hook and where we're going to set on our eyes. And for the record, real quick, kind of go back a little bit. We're using an SC15 size 1 from Gamakatsu. We're going to be using large brass eyes. And you could use lead or whatever. I just prefer not to. And this is in the fluorescent orange. This is kind of providing that uh, hot point. Kind of helps fish trigger into it, figure out what's going on. Back and forth a couple times so we get just right. Lock that in. And that came out looking really nice. All right, we'll just double check that positioning. Good to go. I'm going to take some Loon Flow Finish. Come up over. I was a little bit heavy handed in there. Let's wipe off that excess real quick. There we go. Certainly not the end of the world. zap the UV fire out of it. Awesome. Alright, next material we're going to go with is going to be EP Sparkle. This is their Root Beer Sparkle. I love this stuff. And we're going to take a fairly judicious amount. Fold it over my thread. Bring it back. And we're going to kind of trim it. Boom. There we go. Looking good. Alright, next up. We're going to be using Hairline Extra Select Craft Fur and Tan. One trick, guys, for whenever you're uh, using craft fur, try to trim as close to that material as you possibly can. Doing that's going to make it easier to kind of figure out where you need to, uh, how, how to, it's just going to make it easier because whenever you cut that craft fur off, it's going to make everything a little bit more orderly and you're not going to be cutting stuff that's uh, not benefiting you. So like if you leave um, some of the hair down towards the bottom, it can be tough. All right, next up, remember guys, when we use craft fur, we need to pull out those guard hairs. Then I'm gonna take my craft fur and I'm gonna stack it. So I'm gonna take the long fibers, pull it, stack it against my shorter fibers, and I'm gonna do it again. And boom, we get a really nice usable clump of craft fur. One thing I want to stress about this fly, you don't want to have your material being longer than two times the length of the hook shank. So I got one, two. 
So we've got one, two, right there. So I'm going to come on up some. And we'll bring that up. Trim off the excess. Good to go. We'll get that all shaped up. And we're going to repeat that process again. We're going to take another nice clump of craft fur. Remember, get that guard hair out of there. Stack it. Trim it evenly. One, two, and I'm going to taper this a little bit, so I'm going to make it not quite as long as the last one. So I can make it that long, but I'm going to make it not quite as long. And that's just going to give kind of a nicer overall look to the fly when you're done. See so you make that taper now. All right. I'm going to grab up that excess, trim it off. All right. Looking good. All right, good to go. Now, before we move on to that next step, I really like adding some color to it. We're going to use some Sharpies. Uh, I've learned if I'm going to use more than one color with a Sharpie, start with the lighter color first because the darker color can kind of bleed through and find its place. So I'm going to come here and go one. One on each side. One on each side. All right, and we're going to repeat that again. And I'm going to take that brown. Bam. Same again. So you see how it kind of bleeds over. Bam. There we go. Looking great. Came out awesome. Next material we're going to be using UV Polar Chenille. This is uh, olive copper UV. If you're doing a different color, obviously change it out. If you don't have this exact material, but you do have uh, like Palmer Chenille or something, or you have uh, Chocolate's Filler Flash, or any of the other uh, Senio Polar uh, Chenilles, they'll work great. Bring it on up, like so. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make that twist as we go around. I want to make sure that what I'm doing is bringing that around, pulling everything out of the way. I want to make sure I'm not capturing that fiber. And I'm actually going to go all the way to my dumbbell eye. And I'll show you why. Okay. All the way up, snug against the dumbbell. Got it. Bam. that captured that one more time we're gonna clip that guy off super nice done now I'm gonna add grab a little dubbing brush we're gonna brush that out and again we're just making sure that we're not capturing anything all right now we're gonna pull this back pulling everybody back in order just make a few loose wraps right there looking good boom looking nice next up I'm gonna be using the fly enhancers uh, legs this is the blue pumpkin I really like this stuff gives it that nice blue crab shrimpy sort of look without having to work hard at it you know I'm just gonna throw two on each side you can do more if you like but two on each side is fine with me I'm going to make this nice and easy. I'm just going to lay it down on one side. Wrap it down. I'm going to bring it to the other side. And then 
I'm just going to rinse and repeat. Very nice. Done. I like it. Cool. And I'm going to leave this just hanging loose. We'll trim it at the end. You guys are almost done. This is a nice quick fly. Alright, next up we're going to be using, this is the EP Tarantula Brush. Uh, this is the Sculpin. I really like this color. This is the one inch. Alright, we got a little piece left. Should be enough to finish up. Alright, we're going to take it. Tie it in. And I'm going to bring it on up forward. As I come forward, I'm folding it around, okay, so that I've captured that material and I'm pulling it back. Keep on going, keep on going. Now, this is one thing that I like to do. I think it helps out a lot. Is every now and then as we're going, take that dub and brush again, brush that material out, okay. Brush that material out. Looks super nice. Make sure we're not capturing any of these nice buggy tarantula legs. And I'm making a fairly loose wrap. Uh, the reason is I want to get down quickly in front of my fish. So that's going to help out. Every now and then brush out again, brush out again. I'm rotating the, the vise around with my hand, brushing it out. We're almost to the end, guys. Looking good. Alright. Almost to the end. Looking fire. There we go. Brushing it out, brushing it out, brushing it out. Looks great. Awesome. All right, looks like we had just enough, so I'm super happy. All right, so I'm going to come here. I'm going to go back some. Telling you on the other side of that barbell eye. All right, here we go. Capture that up really nice. Boom. Got it. Love it. Now, Every now and then, that stuff gets a little bit stuck in there. I'm going to take my bodkin, and I'm just going to push it in. I don't want to get a hold to the wire, so be careful not to push it in too far. But take that bodkin, go through that tarantula brush, and you can just free up all kinds of great little pieces of that tarantula leg. Looking good. All right. Finish that off real fast. All right, all done. All right, now I'm going to grab this. This is the new phase arrow point scissor, and it's got a little wire cutter in there. So boom! And we're not tearing up our nice scissors. We're not tearing up the uh, the blades. To clean everything up. Looking really nice. And honestly guys, we could probably call it done right here, but if we just trimmed up those legs. But I'm going to show you what I like to do. I think it adds a nice little bump to it. We've got extra large EP crustacean eyes. This is that fluorescent green color they do. If you prefer to make your own eyes, no big deal. I just find this is, they look great and it speeds up my day. So I'm going to get two of these guys and lay them down. I'm going to try to make sure they're the same length. So I'm just going to kind of even them up best I can. If it's not perfect, it's not a big deal. Fish could care less. What I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm sliding it so one eyeball goes on either side of the hook. Right? And then. I'm going to put a couple loose wraps on there. Make sure that's exactly the way I want it. 
Come here, tighten that up real nice. And we're gonna tie this guy off. I'm using two double half hitches. You can whip finish, or you can just hit it with some glue and call it a day. No wrong answer. As long as it works for you. Nice. One row again. and super fast. Alright, now we're going to take a little bit of that loon flow. We're going to go over those thread wraps. And we want to be careful not to get that flow into the eye of the hook. And we may have got a little bit on there, but what we can do is because we've got these legs right here, before we cure it, we're just going to lift those legs up, making sure that we've got that eye cleared out. Okay. Give it the zap. Boom, looks awesome. All right, fabulous. Now, next up, this is all cured up, good to go. Let's get these guys out of the way. Uh, you can uh, cut them off if you like, but it never gets quite clean enough for me. I'm going to take my bodkin and a lighter, get that super hot, like my wife, and then take it and burn this monofilament out of my way. Boom, that's it, nice and clean. Nice clean hook eye. Looks awesome. Oh, last but not least, let's trim our legs. Bam. Looks awesome, such a simple fly. Works wonderfully. Uh, this is, we call this fly hair metal. Uh, this particular color, I call it the Causeway Killer. I really like it. Super pleased with it. Great fly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you guys picked up a new favorite pattern. Super easy to tie. Uh, we've got all the materials here at the shop here in Daphne. And uh, stop by. We've got always having cool events going on. So, we'll see you on the water.